Hi, Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches. People sometimes ask me, what are the typical closing costs that you're going to have when you have a closing? Of course, it depends if you're the buyer or the seller. So let's say, for example, you are the buyer. In Dade and Broward County, you'll be paying for title insurance. In Palm Beach County, the seller pays for title insurance. You'll, as, as, as a buyer, you'll also be paying the doc stamps uh, on your mortgage, but the seller will also be paying the doc stamps on the deed. You have recording costs that the seller is also going to be, to be paying for. Uh, and so you have surveys and, and homeowner association estoppels. You have prorations on your taxes. Uh, you have prorations sometimes on, on uh, the continuation of maintenance agreements for air conditioners, generators, uh, things of that nature. So, I mean, these are all routine kinds of closing costs. Uh, if, in fact, you're doing business with a reputable title company like Weston Title, they'll prepare what's called a net sheet for you, and they'll tell you exactly what the costs are and what the net will be to you after your bank is paid off. And, and all other costs are paid. You're going to have probably wire fees. You may have uh, prorations on interest. I mean, there are various uh, other things that, that, that pop up, but um, it's important to have a, you know, a well-seasoned title professional and a real estate lawyer to assist you so they can advise you on what these closing costs really are. Thank you. Roy Oppenheim.